So before I talk to you about Aquaman, I feel like I need to give you some backstory on my relationship with the DCEU. Now, I'm a huge DC fan. I grew up with the DC cartoons. I read DC comics. Growing up, I was never really a Marvel person, but the MCU was a big part of my childhood. And I would say that the MCU is, you know, in many ways, is just as important to me as the DC comics. However, I have always been a DC person deep down. So I do feel like in order for you to understand my feelings towards this film, you need to understand my relationship with some of the DCEU's past films. Now, I thought Man of Steel was fine. I think it's slightly overrated. I'm not the biggest fan of that film. I really like Batman v Superman. I'm not oblivious to its flaws, but I am one of the few people who really love that film. I absolutely despised every second of Suicide Squad. I thought Wonder Woman was a pretty great film, but after a while it became more about the politics and the actual film itself. And I thought Justice League was fine when I watched it. I was kind of in denial of the fact that it was utter shit, but now I do agree with most people in that it is utter shit. So going into Aquaman, I did have relatively high expectations, not because I liked the character from Justice League, but because it was directed by James Wan, who is, in my opinion, very similar to Matthew Vaughn. This is a guy who has no care whatsoever for awards. He's making films because he loves to make films. He's making films for the audience and no one else. This guy is one of the most unpretentious, honest, genuine filmmakers in Hollywood. If you don't believe me, go watch Furious 7. It is one of the most unpretentious, genuine pieces of entertainment I've seen in a while. And so I was hoping that he would bring that sense of fun and energy to Aquaman. And that's exactly what James Wan has done, because out of every film this year, Aquaman is the most excited and the most enthusiastic about its own existence. This film feels so alive and so energetic and so vibrant. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. Is it slightly messy? Yes, I'll get into that in a bit. But just from a filmmaking perspective, James Wan has crafted a world that feels alive. I would say that out of all the live action comic book movies we've had this year, this is probably the most comic accurate. I say live action, of course, because of Into the Spider-Verse. But yes, Aquaman is completely crazy. It is insane. And I really enjoyed it. It's completely over the top. It's very, very cheesy. And I know a lot of people might not like that. But I just feel like this film is so aware of the corny, cheesy nature of the characters in the story. And it takes every opportunity to embrace it, to elevate it, to appreciate it, and just to show that it's having fun with it. And that's a big part of why I respect the film. Of course, all the performances are pretty damn decent. Jason Momoa is an awesome Aquaman. You have Amber Heard is pretty decent. Willem Dafoe, Nicole Kidman. Patrick Wilson is a pretty decent villain. But for me, the biggest star of the show really is James Wan. The guy has just brought so much style and charisma to his filmmaking language for this film. All the action set pieces are filmed with so much creativity. I would honestly say that these are some of the best fight scenes of the year. A lot of the fight scenes are shot in long takes, which feel like slightly inspired from Kingsman, slightly inspired from Ryan Coogler's work on Creed and Black Panther, and they come together for something really impressive. I would honestly say that the long take fights in this film are better than the ones in Black Panther, because if you look at the casino fight from Black Panther, it feels like they were trying so hard to make it one long take and all like the hidden cuts were very, very obvious. Whereas with Aquaman, the camera and the action is moving at such a fast pace that you don't have time to keep up with trying to find the hidden cut. The set pieces move at this incredibly fast and exciting rate, and I really, really enjoyed that. The choreography is amazing. It's just the action is incredible in this film. We've also got some great cinematography, amazing visual effects, and a great score by Rupert Gregson Williams, who just knocks it out of the park. However, the story, the characters, are slightly weak. The story is incredibly simple and very shallow. It's not nearly as complex as Black Panther. The villain's motivations are just kind of shown to you in this one scene. Patrick Wilson does a good job, but I did feel that Black Manta had a much more genuine motivation, but the character felt really, really tacked on and didn't belong in the movie at all. And I do feel like if you had just cut out Black Manta, the pacing of the movie would have been so much better. And the awesome excess that you see in these action sequences unfortunately carry over to the story. The story is very, very excessive. The film is very, very long and quite messy. A lot of the times it really does lack focus. You know, I'd be watching a scene and I'm like, wait, why are we here again? And that's never good. Going back to that really simple story, we live in a world where superhero movies do need to be a little bit more outstanding in terms of their storytelling in order for us to really, really uh, relate to them, in order for us to really enjoy them, and in order for them to stand out. And in terms of story, I think Aquaman does suffer a little bit because it is so damn simple. 
and there just isn't really anything remarkable about the story. It's really the execution, which is obviously very well done. I just wish that we had a slightly more complex story and not just go here, find this thing, we need this in order to get to this, in order to do this. And the characters do progress, they do go through some change, but it's not nearly on the same level as some of the other superhero films we've had this year. And I think that if you've seen the film, you'll completely understand what I mean. Every single time people are talking and, you know, they're having a civilized, nice conversation, an explosion happens, boom, action scene, boom, action scene. It felt messy on a tonal and a structural level, and I wish that there had been a little bit more nuance to the overall storytelling of it. But, that being said, James Wan's amazing directing and the charismatic performances and, just, and the vibrant, exciting atmosphere of the film did keep me really invested, and that is why I'm going to give Aquaman probably a B+. Thank you very, very much, guys, for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for many more end-of-year videos to come. Uh, thank you very much again for watching. Thank you.